the seven chakras are energetic portals between your emotional, physical, and spiritual bodies. But wait, what does that even mean? What are the seven chakras, and why are they important? Do these energy centers actually have an impact on your well-being? Exploring this topic is well worth it because by understanding how your chakra energy centers work, and how to keep them in balance you gain access to valuable tools for finding peace, clarity and for allowing you to connect with higher states of consciousness and the divine, through deeply understanding the role your energy centers play in how you experience life and relate to others you can then also gain a deeper understanding of yourself and others. Then, keeping the chakras open and in balance can be used as a tool for healing, discovering who you really are and working through anything that is holding you back from being your true self. So what are chakras? Your chakras are the energy centers within your physical body that align with the spine acting as anchor points for etheric life force energy within your physical being. Each chakra governs various organs or regions of your body, and then all of your chakras together work as one, the rainbow bridge between the physical and spiritual. When your chakras are opened and balanced, etheric life force energy flows through you easily. When they are muddied, blocked, or excessive and unbalanced, spiritual, emotional, mental, and physical issues can arise. In this post, you're going to learn what chakras are, and you'll gain insight into what they do and how to heal and balance them. What are the seven chakras in your body? There are seven major chakras located within the physical body. These energy centers can sometimes be seen as spinning wheels or sacred disks of energy. The seven chakras start at the base of the spine and run up along your spine through your body to the top of the head. The seven chakras in the body include root chakra, sacral chakra, solar plexus chakra, heart chakra, throat chakra, third eye chakra, crown chakra. You may also hear them referred to as Svadashthanat, Muladhara, Vashuddha, Ajna, Sahasrara, Manipura, and Anahata. These are the names of the energy centers in Sanskrit, the oldest Indo-European language still spoken today and the foundation for other languages around the world. Sanskrit is also the original language that the chakras are written about. In ancient spiritual texts, the Vedas coming from the Indian Vedic tradition, what is a chakra? Chakras are at the core of your emotional, energetic, and spiritual well-being, and by understanding your chakras, you can unlock your spiritual gifts and abilities, as well as tune into healing, and greater vitality and well-being. Chakra means wheel in Sanskrit, and that's precisely how these energy centers function, as wheels or discs of energy in the body. Eastern belief systems and philosophies tell us where there are dense areas of nerves, arteries, and veins are where there is a concentration of life force energy. You do not have to be a part of a religion or believe in a specific philosophy to become aware of, observe and balance the chakras. In fact, modern science has documented that there is an endocrine gland and a major nerve plexus in each of the seven chakra areas. Why should you care about chakras? The health of your chakras can have an impact on your social, emotional, spiritual, and physical health. When chakras are blocked, overactive or underactive, this can cause physical pain and ailments, as well as mental stresses and spiritual blocks. When your energy flows freely through the chakra centers in your body, you'll benefit from an overall feeling of wellness, obtaining a brighter perspective and a more heightened sense of awareness. When your chakras are in balance, life force energy is able to naturally flow through you promoting your overall sense of well-being. The more you become aware of your chakras, the more you'll be able to feel them within your body. If you're curious whether or not you may have chakras that are out of balance, we will explore ways to determine this, and how to balance them below, how to use the resources in this post for each chakra associated stones and essential oils, as well as simple activities, are listed for each of the chakras below used for activating, healing and balancing the chakras, for each of the seven chakras, you will learn, how to know if a particular chakra needs healing in your body signs of overactive and underactive chakras simple in home activities to heal and open each chakra what tools support chakra activation, clearing, 
and healing such as stones, foods, drinks, essential oils and daily practices using the chakra healing stones. Chakra stones and crystals can be placed around your home or workplace or you can carry them in your pocket or wear them as jewelry. You can meditate with chakra stones either by holding them or placing them over your chakra points. You can also make crystal infused water by soaking the stones in a bottle of water, allowing them to energize it. Note some stones should not be used in this way. Part of how crystals work to balance your chakras is by absorbing blockages and detrimental energy. Periodically cleanse the energy of your stones by placing them outside in the sunlight or moonlight with the clear intention to release any and all negativity into the light. You can also do this anytime you feel your stones are overloaded with negative energy and after you use them to clear and heal chakras. When selecting chakra crystals, do your research and know that there are many fakes, heat-treated and dyed stones that are often passed off as chakra stones. Genuine healing crystals should be as natural as possible. Cutting and polishing stones does not detrimentally affect the crystal's energy but heat treating, dyeing, and irradiating does. I get most of my crystal jewelry online here greater than greater than how to use essential oils. Essential oils can be used in a diffuser or added to a spray bottle with purified water. Use this to spray yourself, your home, or workspace. You can also dilute a pure essential oil with coconut or olive oil and massage over your chakra energy centers. It's a good idea to test an oil on a small area of your inner arm to make sure you don't have any sensitivity to it. Finally, add a few drops of essential oil like lavender to a warm bath with some Epsom or sea salt. This helps to clear your aura and clear your chakras. Meditation Tips When meditating to clear and balance the chakras, keep in mind that meditation is called a practice for a reason. It takes practice to really get it. But also, know that as you practice meditation, even if you feel you're not good at it at first, or you worry that you're not doing it right, you'll still be getting much of the benefit. Here's our 12 helpful tips to help you get started. Meditate first thing in the morning. Many people have the desire to meditate, but have trouble making it a priority, or following through to actually do it. Committing to meditating first thing is a simple way to prioritize meditation and start your morning off right by taking this time for you. Start small. Showing up daily for a 5 minute is more powerful than doing a 2 hour meditation 1 day per month. Start small and you can then build from there. Just show up. Don't worry so much about the how behind meditation. Show up with the clear intention to meditate and let the path appear to you. Return your focus to the space between your thoughts. Don't worry when your mind starts to wander as it surely will. Just catch yourself when you do get caught up in thinking, and gently return your focus to the space between thoughts. Cleanse your energy to start. You can support yourself in centering your energy by breathing in light and as you exhale let go and release anything that is no longer serving you. You may also choose to recite a simple prayer to invoke white light before you begin. Love what arises. As you meditate, you will have thoughts arise. Rather than judging yourself for this, choose to stay loving towards yourself and love the thoughts as they appear before letting them go and returning your focus to your meditation. Move your awareness into the center of the chakra you're focused on. As you move your awareness deeper and deeper into a chakra energy center, this movement will naturally help that chakra to balance and open. This is called centering and it's so powerful. Breathe deeply and slowly. Just placing your attention on your breath is a powerful meditation in and of itself. As you breathe with deliberate awareness your breath will naturally deepen and slow. Let your mind follow your breath, just observe. Don't judge yourself for not being good at meditation. Just observe your thoughts, feelings and emotions. Awareness and observation are key. Remember you can meditate anywhere. With guided meditations, it's often recommended to find a place where you will not be disturbed, but the simple reality is that you can meditate everywhere. Practice clearing your mind and centering your energy while you're walking, commuting, or waiting in line at the store. Try guided meditations to support yourself in getting into the meditative state. Sometimes having someone else guide you into the inner place of relaxation and meditation works wonders for actually getting there. Remember there's no one right way to meditate.
There are many methods and ways to meditate, so know this, and keep with the practice, trying out different methods until you really find what works for you. Guide to the seven chakras Each chakra belongs to a specific region of the body. Each chakra has its own vibration, name, and color. Your thoughts and emotions affect the chakras just at blockages in one or more chakra can have an impact on how you think and feel. To bring your chakras into optimum balance and clarity, you have to know a little bit about them first. Root Chakra, Muladhara The root chakra is the foundation of your energetic body and the base support for the rest of your chakra system. A clear and balanced root chakra grounds your body to the earth and supports you in feeling secure, connected and safe within the earth's energetic field. The root chakra supports a feeling of security, groundedness, and home. It is the most instinctual chakra centers in the body. It affects your ability to feel safe and secure and is connected to feelings of being supported and belonging. Feelings of being connected to your ancestors and family come from a balanced root chakra as well. Your survival instincts, preservation of the self, and resilience live here. When the root chakra is in balance, it offers a stable foundation for well-being in your physical, mental and emotional being. How to know if the root chakra is out of balance When your root chakra is in balance, you will feel a sense of security, belonging, and a sense of groundedness. You can be in the present moment, and fear does not rule you. You become a more trusting, relaxed, and open person. When the root chakra is not in balance, this can manifest in both physical and non-physical ways. Feelings of fear, a busy stressed mind, and disconnection, whether from your spiritual nature or other relationships in your life, is a sign of imbalance. This imbalance disrupts your connection to the earth, can cause the feeling of being spaced out and an overall feeling of not being grounded. This can result in feelings of detachment and feel like you don't belong anywhere. Underactive root chakra An underactive root chakra can make you feel stuck or feel closed off from your body and the needs you have as a human being. An underactive root chakra affects your feeling of vitality. This is the chakra that makes you feel a connection to the earth, so if it's underactive, you may feel drained, unmotivated, and without desire. Underactive chakras limit the potential use and connection with each energy center in your body. It inhibits the expression of not just the chakra that is blocked, but all the chakras working together in unity. Overactive root chakra When a chakra is overactive, there is an excessive amount of energy within that point. As a result, an overactive chakra becomes dominant over your other chakras. This hyper-focused state influences your energy and perception. Whatever each chakra is responsible for will be heightened to the point of negativity. A quick temper, inability to relax, anxiety, aggression, eating disorders, and lack of focus are all signs of an overactive root chakra. You may be overly concerned with material things and exhibit greediness, trauma, abandonment, or not having your basic needs met can cause an overactive root chakra that compensates by causing you to hyper-focus on these foundational needs and causes rigidness. An over-the-top requirement of routines and structure driven by fear can result from an overactive root chakra. Chakra healing for the root chakra to have balance in the root chakra, you have to balance it. Here are three techniques you can use to heal your root chakra. Meditation Do a walking meditation out in nature. Reconnecting with Mother Earth will help to balance this chakra. Walking barefoot will also help to ground your energy. While meditating, imagine your spiritual body anchoring down into the crystalline core of the earth. At the base of your spine, visualize a vibrant color red and imagine this pure red light clearing and cleansing any stuck energy. Root chakra affirmations use affirmations such as, I love myself and approve of myself. I am safe and secure. I am grounded. I am enough. I am protected by the divine and have all that I need. I attract abundance and accept it freely. I am financially secure. I am connected to the world around me. Success comes easily to me. Chakra stones and essential oils for the root chakra. Keep these in and around your home or use them during meditation to support and balance your root chakra. Stones associated with the root chakra include, ruby, smoky quartz, hematite, jet, red jasper, bloodstone, garnet essential oils for the root chakra, patchouli, cedarwood, sandalwood, myrrh, frankincense, cinnamon, ginger additional tips take a walk in nature, barefoot if you can, feeling.
your energy grounding in connecting to the earth, get active in your community, volunteer, and give back to others, get out into the garden, and eat more root vegetables, move your body through dance, yoga or exercise and feel the vitality returning to your root chakra, get organized at work or at home. Getting on top of your schedule, or clearing clutter and organizing your space will help bring structure into your life, become mindful when you feel a lack of self-confidence. Use affirmations to overcome these mental blocks, identify areas of your life where you feel like you don't have enough and work through these areas, wear red clothing, practice mindfulness while taking a warm shower. The waterfall of light technique is also a powerful and simple way to restore the root chakra while taking your daily shower. Practice toning lamb, the sound of the root chakra. Root chakra symbol and symbolism The root chakra symbol is comprised of a square with a triangle standing firm on its point and surrounded by a four-petaled lotus working from the outside of the Muladhara symbol in. The four petals represent the root chakra's four mind states it governs, mind, intellect, consciousness, and ego. The square represents strength and the solid and secure foundation, and the alchemical symbol for the earth, the upside-down triangle represents earth grounded energy, grounding, instinct, stability, security, energy, courage, stimulation, passion, and strength are all word symbolism that represents what the root chakra does. Location of the root chakra The root chakra is the first chakra in your physical body, located at the base of your spine, near your tailbone in the area of your perineum. A balanced root chakra makes you feel stable, secure, safe, and fearless. The chakra color for the root chakra The root chakra color is red. An imbalance in the root chakra can make the appearance muddied, or even too bright if it's overstimulated. Sacral chakra Svadhisthana The sacral chakra is ruled by the water element and is related to fluidity in relationships as well as the flow of creativity and life force energy through you. Your relationships and how you respond to the people around you are both affected by the sacral chakra. This chakra is the core of your emotional well-being, duality, and creativity. Sometimes called the dwelling place of the self, the sacral chakra is your energetic foundation for directly perceiving spiritual beings and higher worlds. This is also your reproductive chakra, and the center of emotion, feelings, and pleasure. The energy from this chakra allows you to be in the present moment and gives the gift of experiencing the enjoyment in life. If your feelings aren't honored, this chakra becomes unbalanced, leading to polarizing states of being, either the loss of control or the loss of enjoyment and a disconnect from your emotions. How to know if the sacral chakra is out of balance when the sacral chakra is balanced? Creativity, intimacy, warmth, and joy naturally flow through and radiate beyond you. An imbalance of the sacral chakra can leave you feeling disconnected, uninspired and unmotivated. A general sense of apathy can occur, and people and activities that bring pleasure no longer do. Depression is a significant symptom of an imbalanced sacral chakra. Another sign of imbalance issues includes gallbladder, colon, bladder, and digestion problems. When your sacral chakra is in perfect balance, you will savor all the pleasures that life has to offer, without overdoing or overindulging in them. Underactive sacral chakra When your sacral chakra is underactive or out of balance, you may experience certain signs such as being overly emotional, having a decreased drive, depression, jealousy, and an inability to express yourself and connect with others along with a lack of of creativity, and passion. You can have UAL dysfunction, instability, or be afraid of change. These things usually arise when you focus too much on activities that drain your energy and don't do things to enjoy and relish the fruits of your hard work. Overactive sacral chakra On the other hand, your sacral chakra may be overactive when you find yourself in the midst of an addiction, gluttony, or both. While there is nothing wrong at all with pleasure, indulging too much isn't good for you. People with an overactive sacral chakra may participate in too many pleasure-seeking behaviors and tend to fall into addictions that are no longer healthy for their body, mind, and soul. Restlessness, hormone imbalances, obesity, and addiction may arise as a result of overindulgence. Chakra healing for the sacral chakra opening, balancing, and unblocking the sacral chakra brings a new sense of rejuvenation for life.
If your sacral chakra is unbalanced or lacks energy, there are a few ways to restore its health and wellness. Meditate Spend time outdoors to meditate and just feel and enjoy life. Give yourself some, me, time and experience the amazing gifts that the earth has for you. Focus on the location of your sacral chakra and meditate on it. Envision an orange orb around you, which is the color of this chakra. Tone the mantra VAM to bring the sacral chakra back into balance. Breathe deeply, in and out, focus only on your breath and follow it. Practice this each time you are feeling the signs of imbalances in this chakra. Sacral Chakra Affirmations I love and appreciate my body. I am open to the blessings of the present moment. I enjoy intimacy with others. Change is new opportunities coming to me. I easily flow through changes in new situations. I am satisfied with my life situation. Inspiration comes to me easily and effortlessly. I am a creative being. Chakra Healing Stones and Essential Oils for the Sacral Chakra Stones associated with the Sacral Chakra include Carnelian, Amber, Topaz, Citrine. Beware he treated Amethyst being sold as Citrine. Real citrine comes in pale yellow points not orangish yellow clusters, jasper essentials oils for your sacral chakra, jasmine, lang lang, orange, jasmine, rose, patchouli, sandalwood, sage additional tips, get up and dance. Turn on the music and enjoy moving and flowing with the music. Find a creative outlet and start allowing creativity to flow through you. You can also ask yourself, is this action going to be good for me? Will it be nourishing? Will it make my soul, body, and mind healthy? Honor and respect your truth. Create recipes with nourishing healthy foods. Eat more carrots, mangoes, sweet potatoes, peaches, apricots, and other orange foods. Be open to giving and receiving hugs. Spend time cuddled up with someone, even your pet. Try new things. Go on a road trip, vacation, or make time to step away from the office. Sacral Chakra Symbol and Symbolism The Sacral Chakra Symbols are a crescent moon, cradling a circle and surrounded by six petals. Each petal represents emotions that we each need to overcome. Hatred, Jealousy, Desire, Pride, Anger, and Cruelty The circle represents the cycle of death and rebirth. With the crescent moon sitting beneath the symbol of cycles, this shows the connection to the moon and the connection to feminine energy, sexuality, emotions, creativity, vitality, energy, enjoyment of physical pleasures, curiosity, and exploration are symbolisms of the sacral chakra, location of the sacral chakra. The sacral chakra is located right below your navel area. This is your second chakra, and when it's in balance, you experience the joy life has to offer you with grace and easy. You have a healthy relationship with your body as well as healthy boundaries with others. The chakra color for the sacral chakra orange is the color of the sacral chakra. This is why if you are experiencing an underactive sacral chakra, wearing orange can help you feel balanced. Solar plexus chakra, Manipura The solar plexus is the seed of your personal power. It is the energy center for your personal wisdom and willpower. It helps with intuition and serves as a connection between the world and your inner knowing, confidence in your personal abilities, willpower, and the self-discipline to carry out action comes from this chakra. How you view yourself is influenced by this chakra as well as your willingness to be true to who you are. Conscious decision-making and taking responsibility for the choices you make are also tied to the solar plexus. Everyone has their own set of personal gifts and what makes them unique. With a healthy solar plexus you can embark on honing into your power and undergo personal growth that helps you to blossom. Your solar plexus helps you to make decisions, feel self-confident, and tap into your personal power. When disappointment comes, the solar plexus helps you to create a new action plan and move forward without getting stuck in the past. How to know if the solar plexus is out of balance when the solar plexus is out of balance, you may struggle with being able to feel secure in your authenticity and have issues with embracing your personality. Problems with confidence and self-worth arise when this chakra has an imbalance. You may have challenges with decision-making, self-control, follow-through, and an optimistic outlook on life. On a physical level, a blocked or unbalanced solar plexus can result in ulcers, poor digestion, upset stomach, respiratory issues, difficulties with gaining or losing weight, arthritis, hypoglycemia, fibromyalgia, and other ailments. You may either feel overly confident or lacking confidence. 
Some tend to be wishy-washy and hesitant to make a stand while others are impulsive. The ability to make sound decisions is not present because the confidence and wisdom are tainted with their fear and confusion. Underactive solar plexus If underactive, symptoms that emerge include an overall feeling of unworthiness, neediness, timidness, low self-esteem, and hesitancy to make a stand on a decision. A good sign of an issue with this chakra is victimhood. Lack of confidence, anxiety, and depression are common symptoms of an underactive solar plexus. If you can't trust your inner power, you may find yourself seeking out others to carry you, resulting in codependent relationships that don't serve you. Overactive solar plexus Conversely, the solar plexus may be overactive when your power extends from your life to others. An excessively energized third chakra may be easily irritated, leaning more towards greed and the desire to control. A lack of empathy and compassion and competition or other signs of an overactive solar plexus, overconfidence can turn into arrogance, which is rooted in the lack of belief in yourself and projected as a mask or defensiveness. On the physical level, this kind of imbalance in your solar plexus may result in digestive issues and problems with your kidneys, liver, pancreas, and appendix. Chakra healing for the solar plexus When any of your chakras are out of balance, you may experience all symptoms from both the underactive and overactive side. Healing your solar plexus chakra requires some self-love and compassion. Meditation Sit in a comfortable position and visualize a golden orb of light shining like a sun within your solar plexus center. Imagine the light and radiance of this center warming your body and surroundings. Meditation with crystals also helps in energizing your chakra. Practice it daily to assist in aligning the sacral chakra. Affirmations, I am responsible for my actions, I am able, I am willing, I am flexible, I am enough, I believe in myself. Energize your solar plexus by making a list of things you are good at. Everyone has abilities and talents, and so do you. Tone the mantra ram to bring balance to the solar plexus chakra. Solar Plexus, Healing Stones and Essential Oil Stones Associated with the Solar Plexus, Tiger's Eye, Amber, Lemon Quartz, Citrine, Jasper, Yellow Tourmaline, Agate Essential Oils that Energize the Solar Plexus Chakra are, Ginger, Bitter Orange, Elemi, Mint, Cedarwood, Cypress, Lang Lang, Grapefruit Additional Tips Fill Yourself Up With Some Light Humor and Laugh. Yes, even if it's those adorable cat videos online. Sometimes laughter really is the best medicine. Slightly smiling face drink herbal teas such as peppermint, chamomile, ginger, or dandelion tea. Break tasks down into small steps and commit to taking action one step at a time. Start paying attention and listen to your intuition. This is one of those things that you have to develop, and the more you follow your inner guidance and wisdom, the more open and clear the solar plexus will be. Find ways to combat indecisiveness and stick to your initial instinct. Be kind to yourself if something doesn't work out for you. That's part of the journey. Make peace with the spontaneousness of life. Practice positive affirming self-talk. It is important to practice making mental shifts that support your abilities and personal power. Get out of your comfort zone. Symbol and symbolism The solar plexus symbols are the circle, an upside-down triangle, and is surrounded by ten petals. Just like with the sacral chakra, the petals represent emotional aspects for one to overcome. Foolishness, delusion, fear, shame, jealousy, ignorance, personal ambition, betrayal, disgust, and sadness, intuition in the good, personal power, self-confidence, identity, wisdom, action, and discipline are all symbolism of what the solar plexus helps to maintain. Location of the solar plexus The solar plexus sits right above your navel, below the ribs. When this chakra is in balance, you believe in your abilities to go after your dreams and aspirations and take action to achieve your goals. The chakra's color of the solar plexus yellow is the color of the solar plexus chakra. The color yellow evokes happiness and joyful optimism. Heart Chakra, Anahata Your heart chakra is the center point of your seven chakra system and brings balance and harmony to your entire chakra system. This is where you connect with Source Light and the Angelic Realm. Love and guidance are accessed through your heart chakra and helps to balance the lower and upper correlating chakras. The heart is your center for giving and receiving and your openness in relationships. 
when you live from your heart center, and your energy is balanced, you can approach any situation with love, no matter how challenging it may be. Love is the opposite of fear and comes with profound power to bring unity and peace. The heart chakra gives life to pure unconditional love, enabling you to see the good and potential in all. How to know if the heart chakra is out of balance when your heart chakra is energized and balanced, you will not only love yourself but also that love will radiate to others, as well. Despite the difficult things that happen in your life, it is still possible for you to see kindness and compassion in those around you. At the physical level, when the heart chakra is out of balance, you may suffer from respiratory ailments or circulatory issues. You may excessively judge others, have a hard time with forgiveness or letting go of grudges and have an overall sense of your heart being closed off to others. You may also feel that others are closed off to you, seeking attention and love from others, to gain approval, underactive heart chakra suspicion, being aloof and having a hard time trusting others are all signs of the underactive heart chakra. People with an underactive heart chakra may find themselves in codependent relationships. If you find yourself having challenging relationships, this is a sign that there's an imbalance with this chakra. Other signs include being afraid to love or open your heart, being afraid of commitment or always being on guard to protect your heart. Overactive heart chakra but with an overactive chakra, this is just the opposite. You tend to lose personal boundaries and overextend yourself to the point of making unhealthy, often harmful choices, all because of love. It is easier for you to put other people's needs ahead of your own. You no longer give love to yourself. Other signs to look out for are jealousy, judgment, being controlling, or overcritical and feelings of possessiveness. Chakra healing for the heart chakra You can most definitely heal your heart chakra. Here are some of the things you can do to bring the balance back into your heart. Meditation Meditate on your heart center while visualizing a golden light enveloping you and energizing your heart space. With each breath in, imagine breathing into yourself this golden and on every exhale allow what is not serving you to be released. Bring your focus to what you appreciate and use affirmations to balance the heart chakra. Affirmations The most powerful affirmations to use are that of acceptance and gratitude. Bring to mind appreciation for life, people and the angelic beings that are there to help and guide you. Thank you I love and approve of myself I am open to giving and receiving love I forgive myself and others I return to peace, love and gratitude I flow through life with love, grace and ease I connect with others easily and naturally I love you use chakra stones and Essential oils for the heart chakra stones associated with the heart chakra, malachite, eventerin, amazonite, rose quartz, jade, green tourmaline, green eventerin, green calcite. Essential oils for the heart chakra, rosewood, lavender, neroli, patchouli, jasmine, lang lang, cypress, rose. Additional tips Take a relaxing and soothing salt bath after a long day at work. Practice self-love and care, choosing to do the things that truly nourish your mental, emotional and physical well-being. Practice being present for others and listening to them. Without input, simply hold space for others, start a gratitude journal. Practice random acts of kindness, forgive. If this is challenging, try practicing empathy and put yourself in the other person's shoes. Express appreciation every chance you get, work towards accepting others, as they are, without trying to change anyone. Tone the mantra yam to bring healing and balance to the heart chakra. Symbol and symbolism The heart chakra symbol has 12 petals surrounding an inner circle with two triangles sitting inside. One is upright, while the other is upside down forming a hexagram. Triangles pointing upwards symbolize the flow of human consciousness. Triangles pointing downward symbolize spiritual flow towards the manifested world. The petals can either represent the divine heart or opposing qualities to overcome. Compassion, empathy, love, kindness, healing, understanding, forgiveness, unity, purity, peace, bliss, and harmony are symbolisms of what the heart chakra governs. Location of the heart chakra The heart chakra is your fourth chakra, located in the center of your chest. When this chakra is balanced, you experience emotional love and acceptance for yourself and others and spiritual connectedness. 
When this chakra is open, are connected to the love and presence of Source and the Infinite. The chakra color for the heart chakra The color of the heart chakra is green. Green symbolizes growth, compassion, abundance, peace, relaxation, and harmony. Throat chakra Vishuddha This is the energy center of personal and self-expression and interestingly, of purification as well. The throat chakra is responsible for your ability to freely express yourself. It is the center of communication and has a key role in your ability to clearly communicate and listen, because its energy allows you to speak your truth. The throat chakra helps you to tap into who you are in life from an authentic space. This also means that you can connect with your purpose since your purpose is in alignment with who you really are. How to know if the throat chakra is out of balance When the throat chakra is balanced, you are able to speak truth in love and kindness. You will find it easy and natural to say the words that are appropriate for any situation. Speaking with an energized throat chakra will enable you to inspire and heal others around you with your communication. When you want to express yourself but hold back, you may feel a lump in your throat, and you might also feel pressure in your gut. This is because holding back your truth will also affect your solar plexus. You will have a gut feeling to speak up, and when you don't, this affects your sense of personal power in taking action. If you're having issues with communication in any form, throat chakra balancing and healing have amazing, transformative effects. Under active throat chakra it is not always easy to speak your truth and from your heart. You may have been invalidated, ridiculed, or ignored, causing you to keep your thoughts and opinions to yourself. Instead of speaking with clarity and with truth, an underactive throat chakra can cause you to shut down your voice. People with an underactive throat chakra tend to be quiet, shy, or distant. They may find it difficult to express themselves and struggle for words even when the situation calls for speaking the truth. You may also feel lost and disconnected from your purpose here on Earth. Overactive throat chakra If your throat chakra is overactive, you have a hard time listening and tend to interrupt others and can come off as arrogant. You may struggle with gossip and be overly critical of others and yourself. Things can be said without consideration or without truth and you may have a tough time listening, being the one that dominates conversations. Physically, you may experience frequent infections, throat issues, jaw pain, dental issues, or an inability to listen. Chakra Healing for the Throat Chakra Here are some ways to balance your fifth chakra. Meditation After grounding your energy visualize a blue light surrounding the area from your throat down to your heart chakra and up to the middle of your head. With each breath, you take in to see the light getting clearer and brighter while letting go of any blockages. Ask yourself, what is your truth, and why you are struggling in your particular situation? Listen for that soft inner voice, the voice's angelic realm and the divine source to guide you through the process. Ask for guidance to be able to communicate clearly while having an open heart. Be willing to hear what other people have to say. Imagine this chakra opening and expanding. You may want to work on balancing all of your chakras to help you with this. Affirmations Affirmations for the throat chakra are focused on speaking and listening. You can say affirmations such as, I communicate easily, I say the right things at the right time, I can ask for what I need, my ultimate truth is love, I speak in kindness, I am able to listen to others with an open heart and mind chakra stones and essential oils for the throat chakra stones associated. With the third eye, aquamarine, kyanite, turquoise, blue tourmaline, amazonite, lapis lazuli, azurite, angelite, blue lace agate. These essential oils can help your throat chakra, lemon, frankincense, peppermint, german chamomile, cypress, spearmint, jasmine, geranium, sage additional tips sing daily. You can also hum or chant. This is a great way to freely express yourself, keep a journal and write out your thoughts and emotions, step out of your comfort zone and try public speaking, before you speak, make it a habit always to ask yourself if what you are about to say is helpful, kind, and true, work towards speaking up when you feel you should and practice doing it with kindness and truth, even if there is no one will hear you, practice expressing your truths and your emotions. Use a recorder or speak in front of the mirror. When energizing the chakra, it does not matter if your words are received by others. Just speak your truth kindly and justly. Seek out someone to listen to. Give your attention without interrupting. Just allow others to express themselves and practice receiving other people's truths. Chant the mantra ham to bring balance and harmony to the throat chakra.
symbol and symbolism the throat chakra symbols are a circle representing complete openness encasing an inverted triangle the elemental sign for water flow and 16 petals this symbol represents an open channel for the authentic expression of our true selves the throat chakra symbolizes personal truth communication hearing expressing spirit from within truthfulness authentic expression and judgment location of the throat chakra your throat chakra is not just on your throat It is between the collarbone, radiating to the heart's very center and in between your eyes. The chakra color for the throat chakra blue is the color of the throat chakra. Blue symbolizes wisdom, intelligence, faith, truth, loyalty, compassion, and peace. Third eye, Ajna the third eye chakra connects you to the higher realms of intuition. It is a key anchor point for your divine I am presence along with an anchor point for etheric life force energy. The third eye chakra brings the potential for a connection with higher spiritual awareness. Your third eye chakra is physically represented by the pineal gland, a small gland shaped like a pine cone in your brain. The pineal gland is sensitive to light and produces melatonin, a hormone that regulates your circadian rhythm. In ancient cultures, they believed this gland helped people receive valuable pieces of information from outside sources that the five senses cannot detect. The third eye chakra empowers you to clearly see through your inner psychic sight, and it also helps you have a clear vision for what you want to create in your physical reality. How to know if the third eye is out of balance? A balanced ajna will help you become tuned in with the material and psychic world. You can receive information that is beyond what can be perceived, yet it will not frighten or overwhelm you. When the third eye is balanced, you possess strong intuition, self-awareness, and have a heightened perspective of reality. The third eye is said to be a doorway in which spiritual enlightenment can flow through. A third eye that is out of balance can result in mental illness, closed-mindedness, anxiety, depression and a lack of vision, imagination, insight, and wisdom. Signs of an underactive third eye An underactive third eye leads to the inability to connect with the spiritual wisdom and influences around you. It blocks you from seeing what's within. You may feel disconnected from your higher self, the divine source, and helpers from the angelic realms. You may not be able to see anything beyond the physical world and may lack focus in divine creativity. Signs of an overactive third eye If your third eye is overactive, you may experience mental exhaustion and indecisiveness. You may have a hard time distinguishing what is fantasy and what is real in the present moment. People with an overactive third eye may be afraid of visions they experience during third eye awakening. You may lose grasp on reality and can suffer from delusions or hallucinations. Ego can take over causing prideful obsessions with spiritual gifts such as clear vision, clear hearing, clear feeling and so on. Chakra healing for the third eye to heal your third eye chakra. There are several things you can do. These include the following, meditation when it comes to balancing the third eye, it is important also to balance all of your chakras, meditate on the fact that you are a human, a creature of this planet. Reconnect with your body, feel the grass, the dirt on your feet. You can also energize your third eye chakra by meditating by yourself and spending more time in solitude and silence. Focus on the signals that are happening outside of the physical body. Listening attentively to your spirit and recognizing how it feels is a good start. This practice will make it easier and more natural for you to connect with the energy of this chakra. Affirmations I trust my inner intuition I trust that I am guided I think clearly my thoughts are calm it's easy to hear the voice of my soul my third eye is open I am connected to the divine I am wise I am open to the wisdom within I make decisions easily healing stones and essential oils for the third eye stones associated with the third eye Labradorite, Celestite, Lapis Lazuli, Purple Agate, Topaz, Azurite, Amethyst, Blue Sapphire, Alexandrite Essential oils that promote energy Energy to your third eye chakra are lemongrass, clary sage, sandalwood, lemon, frankincense, juniper, patchouli, clary sage, bay laurel, rosemary. Additional tips if you are losing touch of reality in the present moment, focus more on the now, just be, practice being in the present moment, don't pressure yourself if you are not receiving information or perceiving psychic signs and messages. Be gentle with yourself and embrace the process you are in. Practice speaking with the divine, asking questions, and quieting the mind to receive answers. Keep a dream journal. Detoxify your pineal gland. 
Remove as many toxins from your diet and environment as possible. Drink plenty of good filtered water, and increase your consumption of healthy foods. Regularly set your intentions. Let the concept of competition fall away. The third eye reminds us of our connection with one another, oneness and a wholeness, tone the mantra om. Symbol and symbolism of the third eye The third eye symbol shows a lotus that has just two petals on either side of a circle. Within the circle sits a triangle balancing on its point. This symbol represents our connection with the dimension of light, intuition, psychic energy, extrasensory perception, integrity, visualization, memory, spiritual perception, and imagination are symbolic of what the third eye governs. Location of the third eye The third eye is found in the center of your eyebrows. It extends down to your mouth and radiates to the top of the head. Color of the third eye The color of the third eye is indigo. It holds the power of both red and blue. Indigo is associated with integrity, concentration, faith, justice, and wisdom. Crown Chakra, Sahasrara The seventh chakra, known as the Crown Chakra, Sahasrara, or the Thousand Petal Lotus is the energy center that allows you to connect to your higher self and universal consciousness. It connects you to the eternal part of yourself that goes beyond the ego, it exists in everything and everywhere, and it is what connects us to every single sentient being in the universe. This is the one energy center within the seven chakra system that is outside of your physical body on the top of your head. It is beyond a chakra and is where universal energy and higher consciousness enters into your energetic system. How to know if the crown chakra is out of balance when the crown chakra is balanced, the illusion of separation falls away. You recognize the unity and oneness in your connection with all things and being in the universe. You will feel a deep connection with a higher power, divine source, and centered in a healthy sense of spirituality and connection with the infinite. This chakra is the seat, the source of universal energy. It is infinite and does not have an end. This is why you can never exist and be present in the physical world when your consciousness energy is unbalanced. When this chakra is open and clear, you know that you are never alone. Underactive crown chakra and underactive crown chakra leads people to be ego-driven. Seeing the body as all there is to life and the resulting consequences for that is a survival mentality. Someone with an underactive crown chakra may feel disconnected from the divine, or doubt that there is any higher power at all. A blocked or underactive crown may cause feeling disconnected from spirit and even be angry at God or feeling abandoned. When this chakra is out of balance, you may experience mental fog, fatigue, boredom, materialism, elitism, and entitlement. You will have symptoms of ego-driven thoughts and behavior. Overactive crown chakra If you have an overactive chakra, you're likely to feel disconnected from your body. If your purpose is to work alongside others and spiritual things become overly dominant in your life or an obsession even, this can interfere with that mission, and you may need to bring some balance into this chakra. Being spacey, ungrounded, and lacking purpose and focus are additional symptoms of an overactive crown. Chakra healing for the crown chakra healing for the crown chakra involves opening the crown chakra. You can heal the crown chakra with these practices. Meditation connect with spirit through daily meditation. Visualize a golden light surrounding your crown chakra. Let this light fill and recharge your spiritual and physical bodies. Open yourself up to being connected with the divine. Let go of the fear of that connection and be open to the experiences, affirmations, I am an open and expanded being, I am connected to the divine, it is safe to receive divine guidance, I trust that guidance will come when I need it, I am expansion, I am universally connected to all use chakra stones and essential oils for the crown chakra stones associated with the crown chakra, moonstone, clear quartz, amethyst, shiroite, halite, selenite, rutilated quartz essential oils for the crown chakra, rose, helichrysum, cedarwood, lime, myrrh, cedarwood, sandalwood, lavender, Gurjim, Jasmine Additional Tips Remember that you are not just a human being but also a spiritual being. Take care of your physical needs as well as your spiritual needs. Each day, give yourself that gift of getting in touch with spirituality and honor your process, your journey by being patient and loving to yourself. Look for ways to help others and connect yourself with those around you. Become aware of when your ego flares up. Practice Prayer 
This doesn't have to be any particular way. Do what feels right for you. Regularly bask in the light of the sunset. Feel the light recharge your being. Stargaze, or bask in the light of the moon. Chant the mantra Om, and feel your connection to higher consciousness opening above your head. Symbol and symbolism The symbol of the crown chakra includes a small circle surrounded by 1,000 petals. This represents the blossoming of consciousness. The crown chakra symbolizes consciousness energy, highest wisdom, purity, devotion, trust, happiness, and oneness. Location of the crown chakra The crown chakra is located at the top of the head. It flows from between the eyes and moving upward and outward, which then connects you to the universe's infinite energy. Color violet white is the color of the crown chakra. Mudras, asanas, and mantras for chakra balancing each chakra has its own associated mudra, asana, and mantras that can help to heal and balance the chakras. Mudras are hand gestures or body positions that influence the flow of energy in your body. They help to draw your energy within. These gestures are intended to aid in the flow of energy for each correlating chakra. Asanas are body positions that assist in the flow of energy in your body. These are used in Hatha Yoga to connect the body with the mind. Mantas are sounds you use during meditation to activate and balance your chakras. When it comes to mudras, asanas and mantras, allow your intuition to guide you. There is no one way of connecting with your inner being, the divine source, and your ability to clear and balance your chakras. What will work for you is within you, so listen to your body, and pay attention to how each change in movement and sound makes you feel. Follow the practices that resonate with you. These are some of the common mudras, asanas, and mantras. Root Chakra Mudra The Dipran Mudra looks like a peace sign. Create this by bringing in your middle and index finger together. Asana, the mountain pose helps you stay grounded, which is the very essence for the root chakra. To perform this pose, stand with your feet about a few inches apart. Press your heels and toes firmly onto the ground, activate your core, and relax the shoulders. Your head should point towards the sky. Bring your palms to a praying position and rest them to your heart center. Breathe in and out and feel the energy of the universe radiating throughout your root chakra. Mantra, recite the mantra, Lamb, which activates the base chakra. Being in a mountain pose and envisioning yourself surrounded by a red orb that radiates at the base of the spine while saying the mantra is very potent. Sacral Chakra Mudra The Dhyani Mudra is dedicated to energizing your sacral chakra. Rest both hands on your lap, place one on top of the other and keep the palms face up, let the tips of the thumbs touch and hold this position. Asana, the revolved triangle pose is beneficial to activating the sacral chakra, it also helps you stay grounded and in touch with the present moment. To perform, begin in the pyramid pose. Place your right foot forward while keeping your hips square towards the front of the yoga mat. Then, bring the right hand to the crease of your hip and move the hip back a bit to keep it in line with the left hip. Twist your body to the right while you adjust your hip and hold the position. Breathe in as you lengthen the spine and breathe out to twist. Visualize an orange light in your sacral chakra as you hold the pose. Repeat to the other side. Mantra, repeat the mantra, V-A-M, which is pronounced as Vang. Solar Plexus Chakra Mudra, the Hakini Mudra helps bring energy to your solar plexus chakra. Make a tent position using your hands as all fingertips touch each other. Cross the thumbs, left over right, and hold the position. Asana, the boat pose connects you to your solar energy, which is the seed of willpower, confidence, and determination. Start with a seated position, your feet on the mat and knees bent. Activating your core, slowly lean back and your chest lifted. Lengthen the spine and extend the arms forward as you lift the shins until they are parallel with the yoga mat. Keep the core engaged and visualize the yellow light surrounding you as your internal fire builds. Hold the pose for 15 seconds or more and release gently. Mantra, Chant, Ram, the Solar Plexus Chakra Mantra. Heart Chakra Mudra, the Gyan Mudra is linked to your heart chakra. Touch the tip of your index finger and thumb as you form an OK sign. 
Both hands must be in this OK sign but the left hand touches the base of the sternum while the right hand rests on your lap. Asana, the low lunge is the perfect asana for balancing the heart or anahata chakra. Start in the downward facing dog position then step the right foot forward and keep your left knee lowered to the ground. Keep both hips square to the front part of the mat. Then, reach your right hand upward and bring the left hand over to the left leg. This asana will open your heart and give the front body a good stretch. Inhale as you lift the chest and exhale to move to a gentle back bend slowly. Visualize your heart space radiating green energy that radiates to your heart and every part of your body. Mantra, repeat the mantra, YAM, which is dedicated to energizing your heart chakra. Throat chakra mudra, the grand theta mudra is for the throat chakra. Interlace your fingers so your fingers rest on your palms. Bring your thumbs together creating a connective circle, hold the position, asana, get in an easy pose with your legs crossed in a half lotus position. Rest your hands on your knees in the Gyan Mudra. Tuck your chin to your chest to make the throat lock and stimulate the throat. Lift your chest as you inhale, then breathe out and relax the shoulders. As you stay in this position, visualize a blue light in your throat and chant the mantra associated with this chakra. Mantra, Ham, is the mantra linked with the throat chakra. Third eye chakra mudra, the Kalasvara mudra helps energize the third eye chakra. Place the first and second knuckles of your fingers together. Then, reach the thumbs down and gently press the pads to form a heart shape with the two hands. Extend the middle fingers and allow the tips to touch as they point away from the body. Asana, the dolphin pose helps energize the third eye chakra. To perform, start in the downward facing dog position then slowly lower both forearms to the mat. Stack your shoulders over the elbows. Let your palms touch and have your thumbs touch your pinky fingers. Then, press down into the mat. Bring the chin in front of the thumbs as you rock forward and return to the dolphin pose. End this practice in a child's pose. Mantra, recite the mantra, AUM, which is the mantra dedicated to the third eye chakra. As you do so, feel your mind becoming clearer and purer. Crown Chakra Mudra, the Akash Mudra helps energize the Sahasrara or the Crown Chakra. Touch the thumb and middle fingertips as if making an OK sign. Asana, the balancing butterfly pose is a beautiful asana that invites peace, calm, balance, and concentration, perfect for aligning and energizing the crown chakra. Start by kneeling on the mat and keeping the toes tucked in. Slowly, lift the knees and balance yourself as you come onto the balls of the feet. Heels together under the sit bones, open the knees wide as possible, you may use your hands to balance. Once stable, bring the hands to the heart center or even raise the hands overhead and hold the position, hold the pose for 5 to 10 breaths and visualize an orb of violet light radiating from your crown chakra and outward, upward, and surrounding your whole body. Mantra, the mantra, Ang, is chanted to help energize the crown chakra, which helps in focusing your energy inwards into the crown of your head. The link between the physical and the spiritual your beliefs are crafted and supported through your spiritual, mental, and emotional bodies. Healing the chakras is emotional work. When these chakras are out of balance, it's a result of a belief that you have. For example, if you believe you are a failure, this is going to affect the health of your chakras and is going to disconnect you from the potential of your spiritual body. In this example, some people may feel lost. This is a symptom of that disconnect. It requires mindful action to changing the beliefs that are holding you back. Using tools such as stones, essential oils, and meditations will help to support your intention of healing. Chakras open and close all the time, and just like your moods, they're affected by everyday life. When your chakras are blocked or imbalanced for long periods, this is when illness occurs. Life can't flow through you when negative emotions and thoughts being replayed within you. Chakra work is about releasing and clearing false beliefs, healing, and unraveling your true self. The result is mental, emotional, spiritual, and physical health. 
a unity between your inner and outer worlds, and a connection to the angelic realms and the divine, govern the spiritual body your chakras rule your spiritual body while at the same time affecting your physical body. This is why when your chakras are misaligned, underactive, overactive, or unbalanced, you experience various signs and symptoms in your physical health. By performing asanas, mudras, reciting mantras, using essential oils, healing with crystals, and practicing the techniques that will help strengthen these chakras, you will feel more connected in every aspect of your being, body, mind, heart, and spirit. Chakra Awareness for Alignment and Health Chakra Healing and Rebalancing is an ongoing practice. As you maintain awareness in the present moment, you're able to quickly become aware if a blockage arises or you get out of sync. Doing a quick body scan can help you identify areas in your body that need attention and balancing. It takes practice to connect to and find these blocks in your body, but that's okay. Pay attention to where you feel discomfort and what type of thoughts are dominating your mind. This kind of mindfulness will help keep you in tune with your energetic body so you can give it the love and nurturing it needs. Come back to